Welcome back aboard. Hun, hurry up. It's coming back up. Okay. Well, you caught it right here at Ship Tape TV. Hey, one last thing I want to leave you with today. If you're thinking about buying a new boat, make sure that you do all the appropriate research. Due diligence is key. You got to remember, guys, that every new boat looks fantastic in the showroom, but where it really counts is how does it perform out on the water. That's why you want to take a thorough demo ride on no matter which style hull you're thinking about buying. Hope that helps. I'm John Graviscus. We'll see you next time. There sure is a lot to pick from. Yes, there is. But one thing's for sure, because the kids are a little bit older now, we need more room. Hi, in a market for a boat? Well, we currently own a 19-foot V-hole, and our kids... And the dog. And the dog are getting a little bigger now. Well, we feel like we wanted a bigger boat. We see that you carry several lines of boats, and we currently have a V-hull, but we're possibly interested in a catamaran. And friends of ours up north have one, and they've been telling us some pretty interesting things about it. But we've, we've never been on one. What do you know about them? Oh, the ride's amazing. If you've never been on one, once you take that ride, you're going to find it will be the cleanest, smoothest, driest, most stable boat you've ever been on. Well, why is the ride so smooth? Ah, great question, follow me. Folks, the best way I can describe the catamaran to the monohull is going to be kind of a knife and spoon effect. The monohull being the spoon, wider at the bottom, more friction, and it's going to make more slap. The catamaran hull is going to be a much cleaner entry, you know, sharper entry for a cleaner, softer overall ride. Does that really make a difference in how the boat rides? Yes, and stable too. Really? Really. Really. If you look at a monohull with the V on the bottom, it's going to be a lot more, you know, right and left lean or high degree lean and forward and aft movement through bigger seas. Where the catamaran with two sponsons stays level and flat through all riding conditions for overall safer, better riding boat. That doesn't sound real. Well, let's set up a sea trial. <laughs> oh, hold on a minute. We're not going on any demos just yet. We were just starting our shopping for a boat. <laughs> That's fine. I'm sorry to be pushy or seem so. It's just been our experience that once people ride the catamaran, the boat sells itself. Well, we like to take our boat and the kids and the dog to the sandbar. But what kind of a draft does a catamaran haul offer compared to a monohull? Much shallower. The catamaran is going to be about 12 and a half inches. It's lighter, the cleaner sponsons, where the monohull is going to be at least two feet. Well, what about fuel consumption? I mean, with today's gas prices, I'm a little bit concerned. Yeah, great question. Again, if you look at the mono hull, wider hull, more drag in the water to our razor blade type entries on our sponsons, more efficient, less drag in the water. Because of the trapped air underneath the tunnel, it compresses, causing more lift, more efficient ride, more cushion, a softer re-entry for a better overall ride. That tied in with E-Tech engines, which are lighter, faster, clean burning, and no maintenance. There is no 10, 50, 100 hour break-in, or two cycles and four strokes all have 10, 50, 100 hour break-in costly services. Folks, now that you're aboard a catamaran, can you sense and feel the extra space over a monohull? Well, how do you figure? Because our sponsors stay out where the monohull V's in, therefore we create a lot more space for you, your friends, and your pets. Having all that extra space would be nice. Well, thank you very much for your time. Pleasure. So far in the demonstration, we've gone over maneuverability. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, at the docks, with the spread of the engine, it made it a lot easier to torque the boat around, correct? Yep, that was great. Next, we showed you how stable the boat was. Everybody going on one side or the other. That was terrific. Wasn't that incredible? No listing whatsoever? Yep. Now I'm going to show you how to plane the catamaran off with only one engine. You're going to do what? That's right. I'm going to plane the uh, catamaran off by trimming one engine completely out of the water and put the boat on plane. I got to see this. Ready? Okay, here we go. Up, already out, done, plane. Incredible. 
And the last thing I'm going to show you with the catamaran is how to turn at a high rate of speed. Common myth with monoholes is they tell you can get thrown out of the boat. Highly unlikely. Watch, hard turn to the left, high rate of speed, here we go. Okay, oh, totally flat, no lean whatsoever, was it? Well, what do you think? I'm sold. Uh, I'm sold. Let's go back and write this up. Hey, did they take creative? Absolutely. <laughs> that was unbelievable.